James P. Madonna, and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we're here. We're back. Back? We didn't even go anywhere. Well, we were here last week. Well, yeah. Last Saturday. But look how fast the weeks fly by. Yeah. I know I always say that, but they do. Yeah, they got wings. To be continued. Every, every show we do is to be continued. Until, oh. Until we croak. Until, until we croak. Uh, and who will take over? Who will take over? We don't have any heirs, uh, heirs to our thrones. organization. Heirs to the thrones. We have air when we eat uh, foods that are gassy. We have plenty of air. I have a lot of that. Coming out of our mouth and coming out the other orifice. <coughs> but, we, <laughs> but as far as hair, hair, how, how do you, an air is spelled like a hair loom. E-I-R, like, air. Like, like somebody to to carry on the tradition, somebody to leave your legacy with. Yes. That's the levity bells, by the way. I, don't mind us, we're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. And Marilyn Monroe ain't here. Starting this today, this Saturday, and all this week it will be hazy, hot, and humid to a very high extent, and I am going to uh, do some summer hibernation in the nice cold air conditioning. Mm. Oh, so bear with me. Bear with us, actually. Um, let me get the formalities over with. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. Uh, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. This is my uh, lucky Blackthorn shillelagh from Ireland. I use it to emphasize things and wave it around. And also, in case I have to crack some Republican over the skull with it. And I would, uh, we're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And I want to introduce to you uh, that. Uh, that uh, disembodied spirit you hear in the background, the man of mystery, the Pope of the internet and cyberspace, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling Here. this week, sir? <clears throat> He's also the founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. Now, <clears throat> I want to say greetings to my near dear friend from Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. Okay, and a uh, shout out to a few people. My good friend, uh, Mr. Ken Thiessen, personal trainer extraordinaire and former WWE star in Boca Raton, Florida, but also a uh, uh, personal trainer and, and a dietary and nutritional consultant, Mario Petrus of, the, of New Jersey, of the Northeast, um, uh, of Petrus Fitness. Greetings to you. Greetings to all of my Facebook group administrators, all of yous. Uh, Anthony Laura, Jay Cruz, Sash Boyle, Jolton Joe Stebbins. Uh, that's that's about it, actually. Uh, there, there. We have a new administrator on the uh, uh, Everything Is Food group, but she has such a long name I can't memorize it. Oh. I got, I got to, I got to try to just memorize her first name. Forget about. It. She's got every. The middle of, uh, maiden name, middle name, this name, that name. She's got like a, it's at least several inches long, you know. And um, no, I'm not going to memorize that at all. Now, um, 
As far as my administrators go, they're fantastic, and I appreciate them. Uh, to be an administrator on one of my very large, fast-growing elite groups on Facebook, you must be very proactive. You must post and upload regularly. You must show your face at least daily. There must be activity. I don't want any dead wood collecting dust on the shelf. Okay. No apathy allowed with my administrators. No apathy at all. Which, speaking of apathy, Dr. Bill, we were discussing off the air about trying to understand why Republican governors uh, got reelected in traditionally blue states. Mm. We mentioned uh, Massachusetts. Uh, 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 New Jersey, um, Wisconsin, with Scott Walker, and these are I traditionally think Florida, too. Florida. Got a pinhead. Okay, now speaking of Rick Scott, the uh, yeah, Mr. Scott. The, dil the dildo head uh -huh. or Q-tip head, depending on how mad you are at him. <laughs> are there more? I would I would be willing to guess that the progressives are more towards the south part of the state and all the uh, right-wing crackers are in the northern part of the state, you know, where Jacksonville is, Pensacola, Florida, you mean? Tallahassee, what? You mean Florida. We're talking about Florida? Yeah. Okay. Are there, are there really that many right-wing crackers in the north to elect? No, the Democrats help them out all the time. You mean by just like with Chris? You, you mean by selling out and voting for him? Yeah. Well, what about what about the voter apathy theory? Do you think that played a part in any election in any state? As long as there's a small turnout, the Republicans have a chance. Yeah, because they make it their business to vote. That's correct. All the nuts. That's correct. get to the polls. They get out there, buddy. I saw a nut on Facebook last night, a black guy yet, defending the Confederate battle flag. It was another sellout, Uncle Tom. Looks like it. Why is he... He was saying there was a troop of uh, blacks that fought on the side. But no one is saying exactly. I don't care what the flag was with the races and all this I other bullshit. They They're not saying what the flag really is. It's treason! Well... The uh, states broke the union! Are you trying to say that secession in itself is treason? Is treasonous? Correct. So, the uh, Civil War was fought and showed that you can't do it. Well, the the, the first was uh, uh, Fort Sumter, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. And so I'm assuming that South Carolina was the first to secede. No, there were several of them. They all there was at the same time. So, you know, but the, the Civil War began at Fort Sumter. Yeah, that was now, the first shot. What that other guy said. I mean, why would? I mean. Why would blacks actually fight the North in favor of the South without uh, jumping ship, without, uh, you know, uh, surrendering and saying, we want to we join you guys, we want to go North, just to, get, just to get out of being a slave. I well, mean, a lot that, of people were doing that on the Underground Railroad. Right, that's the, uh, was it Harriet Tubman? Harriet Tubman, et cetera, yeah. Harriet Tubman. Many people were doing it. Yeah. Oh, the boy. point is that all the crap you hear about the flag and etc., no one has stated exactly what it is. It's treasonous. Okay, it was a treasonous government that was put together, cobbled together. Yeah. At well, that time, you got um, getting back to Democrats that are sellouts. They are perhaps more more despicable than the right-wing conservative enemies that we have. Yeah, because they're dangerous. They're, because they, they're, they're, they, they are enablers. They're, well... Okay? They well, enable. They, they, they sold out their voters. 
they sold out the people that voted for them based on their campaigning of progressiveness and liberalism and compassion for the little guy and then when they got elected they turned around and they supported Chris Christie for re-election. That's what happened. And turned their back on Barbara Bono. That's what happens. Okay. I still say Barbara Bono should not have picked a female lieutenant governor. America is not ready for a double team female ticket. It's not inclusive enough. It, 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 you gotta buffer it out there. You gotta appeal to the guys. And uh, anytime you have everybody the same running things, you tend to feel that they're not gonna do right by you because first of all, if women are in total control of a state or the country, and there's all women in Washington and all women in, in Trenton, New Jersey, hey, any any uh, anti-male, uh, feminist, you know, man-bashing law can be put into effect, and 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 screw guys over left and right. Screw them over with the child support thing, you know. Screw them over with this. Screw them over with that. Screw, screw, screw all the way, all the way around. So, you gotta buffer it out. You gotta have a little all in inclusivity, if that is a term. You know. So, but anyway, uh, I liked her a lot. Uh, she did absolutely fantastically splendid in, in the two debates against uh, Balloon Boy, Krispy Kreme, Crisco Christie. But she made a very big mistake when. Um, she was asked, the first question she was asked is, what is your plans for New Jersey? And she was like Ralph Cramden. And she, <laughs> she got nervous and she she did not answer the question. She went off you know, into another subject. Well, Rick Perry said, oops. And he's back in again. Because Republicans, they, they're allowed to be, to be uh, morons and, and idiots exactly. and imbeciles. They could be imbecilic beyond words and they still will have supporters look at Sarah Palin look, look at all of them really uh, uh, Ted Cruz Mike Huckabee Rick Santorum uh, Michelle Bachman when she was uh, relevant yeah you know they all are stupid and say crazy things yeah. and you know there are people who love Donald Trump despite what he's been saying hey now now he loves Latin people you know, and and he now he's saying, yeah, I wouldn't mind if my daughter posed for Playboy. She has a very nice figure. Actually, if, if she wasn't my daughter, I'd I would be dating, be dating her. her now. Yeah. So, nice thing to I, say, John Donald. I mean, this dude, this teabagger dude, says, "Oh, we're making, we're overreacting to what Donald says." The point is, it reflects what he's thinking. For him to say that means that he he would love to not be her daughter in order to bang her or or that he he is has uh, 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 some deep-seated attraction to her well she is a very stunning woman Ivanka uh, I, Ivanka Trump she's, she's a very everybody even girls are saying she's hot you notice it's always and she her. is hmm? it's not his wife that is always there. It is always Ivanka. Because I think, um, I think Ivana and Donald bucked heads uh, a little too often, and I think that's why uh, you know she would be a detriment to his campaign. I don't think Ivana wants is wanna campaign. Ivana no wanna. Campaign for the Donald. Uh -huh. Ivana, no wanna. Boy, am I funny or what? All James T. Madonna's at it again by George. Oh, uh, I just, that was totally unplanned. Which is like our sh shows are. Totally unplanned. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, Bernie Sanders. 
you're you're on a roll, man, like a snowball going down an avalanche, picking up picking up snow, getting bigger, like a steamroller. You're doing fantastic. Keep up the good work. Um, uh, feel the burn. Feel the burn. And 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 they did like my banner quite a bit. Feel the burn. Bernie Sanders for president in uh, 2016. And uh, I. Um, what's going on with the. Uh, the so-called liberal governor of California, Mr. Jerry Brown, and those damn dastardly vaccines. Did you hear about Tom Selleck? No. What happened to him? He stole water. Tom Selleck stole water? From his, for his ranch. Well, where did he get it? Well, he might have got it from a fire hydrant. I don't know. Tom's, he had a big truck. So Tom Selleck, who uh, they worked out a deal. So with superstar him. Tom Selleck, instead of throwing him in the can, did not. He now has a has a police record. <laughs> Tom. No, Sup we don't know that. I Sup said they make it a deal with him. Stu superstar, stupid star, Tom Selleck, did not want to comply like everyone else in California, with the rules. Mm-hmm. He's he he's special. Of but, course, he's an elite man. He's What's a star. Matter? He's rich. He's a star. Yeah. He's Magnum PI. Yeah. Oh, he was. Was and and Blue Bloods. He's he was in that show. But he, he's got this very raspy voice, man. He yeah. he ought to drink some apple cider vinegar and and lemon water or something. He's like, <laughs> you know, but he is older now. But anyway, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, so they're special. You see, it doesn't apply to them. No. Not at all. It didn't apply to um, Nestle's bottling up all oh, that fresh water. Mr. Brabeck, right? nothing applies to him. Peter Brabeck. You know, he got Hey, As they all say, we are elites, and you are taking our resources. It's like the monarchy in England. What did they used to call them? Commoners, peasants. Peasants and serfs. Serfs, commoners. That's great. You sh I should not even be, you should not even be making eye contact at me. You should look down when I speak there to you. There you go. I am a blue blood What's royalty. That, that king what? Or, uh, that king in uh, Bangkok or whatever it is. You have to look down when he goes by or something. Bangkok, Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. Even though it's not a Thailand is not a monarchy because he is part of royalty in Thailand. They still insist you do not make eye contact with him. Wherever he is, that's what it is. You can't make eye contact. Well, I don't think Americans are going to abide by that. They'll spit in his oh, face. Oh, really? Oh, jeez, I see it all the time. You'll see these uh, American journalist women go over into these Muslim countries and stuff, and they wear the old uh, thingy and uh, you know the what the, the jade oh, and the burqa and all this. What about shit. what about how Americans? Because we don't understand. American thing. media, Americans in general, the paparazzi in the United States, all the Hollywood gossip shows—they sure kiss the ass of the British royal family. Yeah, but I'm talking about. We don't want to offend someone else's religion. Yeah, these are people you know? that they could be, they could be, I don't know what political um, mentality or they have, whether or not they're progressive, liberal, or right-wing conservative, but the word sycophant is definitely in there when it comes to sucking up to royalty. They are um, people, there are people who walk on eggshells constantly and they're always afraid of offending. Instead of telling it like it is and telling people how they really feel, um, like the story I told you about Cher on David Letterman, if I ask you, hi, how are you? I want you to tell me how you are. 
Okay, but no, these people are fake. You know, they're uh, sucking up to royalty in hopes that the royalty will take a liking to them. And, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll, they'll get a gift or whatever, you know. Uh, hey, famous rich people are like royalty too in America. Donald Trump. Uh, of course, they got their own tables at the restaurant. They, they kiss the Kim Kardashian and her mother's ass. You know, and that's big ass, man. That's big ass, big hairy ass. Um, I don't know about hairy. Well, what other it. What other famous person is rich in an in a American rich person in, in the spotlight? I think it, Donald is. Well, Donald Trump makes sure his mug is in the American spotlight. He makes it his business to be in the spotlight. Donald Trump has a huge ego. You never saw Ted Turner sticking his okay. his face in front of a camera every waking moment. No. Ted Turner wasn't like that. Mr. Trumpy yeah. has a whole big ego. Okay. And 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 he has a he has a rather interesting and very unique hairstyle hair <laughs> and um, and he thinks he's right on everything okay. even when he says the wrong thing does does he ever did he ever apologize I don't think so for what he said about Latin people did he, did he so. ever publicly apologize no, he's for not talking about Latin people per se he's talking about Mexicans coming over the border. They are sending their worst people here. Well, didn't say. Cuba kind of do that with Miami? When Castro... No, because the... Came in? The fighter, the people who did not like Fidel, they came to Miami. The right-wingers are... So he's lumping, Miami. he's lumping all the poor people that just want to survive and, and make some make a living. Well, they're part of it. He's lumping them in, categorizing them with the the drug trafficking. The bad, the bad boys and girls. With the bad element, the drug traffic. So he's on. lumping them all together. But you see, what we what we forget about, that we argue about this immigration crapola and stuff, is we're forgetting one important thing. Why are they coming here? They're coming here because there are big problems in their country. What about the fact that there are American companies that welcome them to to work yeah the undocumented here. ones yes the ones that love the undocumented illegal Mexicans that work cheap for them if they weren't making if they weren't employed they wouldn't be here they wouldn't be here <laughs> so somebody is employing them yes. so so don't blame uh, Mr. Trump there, don't blame everything on the the Mexicans, the undocumented Mexicans, because somebody's hiring them. That's correct. You know. Somebody's hiring them. And and, and somebody's uh, according to the right wing, is giving them welfare. How the hell do you get welfare if you're undocumented? Yeah, don't you have to submit your social security number when you yeah. apply for any social services in and the United income, States? Income, proofs of income, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, you got to answer a lot of questions when yeah. you, you, you don't just, you know, just walk up to a counter like you were at uh, Wendy's or Burger King, you know, and, and just apply for welfare. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you got to have the first thing they want to know is that social, and if that's social turns up information that you're an illegal, undocumented documented immigrant, then you don't qualify for that. Exactly. You might, you know, you don't qualify for that. So, you know, they're scapegoating. They, they, listen, all the problems we have now are from the top 20% of America the elitists, the fat cats, and the Republicans are, 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 are allowing the rich to do whatever they want in the United States. Period. That's the whole thing in a conch shell. Ah. 
You notice the segue, how I slid right into that. Capitalism oh. in a conch shell is part of our new, new series. Capitalism in a conch shell, new series. Mm -hmm. Okay? You see the conch. That's, that's what it is. It's, it's they're, they're taking bribes from the rich and they're allowing the rich, which, which includes the corporations, to make the laws and, and, and they, uh, their job as a politician a uh, corrupt Republican politician is to make sure there's no regulations. And to no regulation, deregulate them so they could do whatever they want. They could steal, you know. They could uh, oh, they can do all sorts of things: uh, income tax evasion, um, um, what, what other? Bring down the economy, bring Wall down Street. The, bring down the economy. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, let Wall Street and, and the and the uh, the bankers do whatever they want. Uh, no, yeah. nobody accounts for anything they do. There's no accountability. Yeah, it's all part of deregulation. Nobody went to jail. Nobody went to jail. Yeah, but if you're if you're a little guy, you go to jail. Hey, the only reason I think that Bernard Madoff went to prison is because he robbed from the one percent. Of course. That's the only reason why he's in How prison. How dare he? Not because Bernard Madoff made off <laughs> with everybody's money. Probably the most successful crook in the history of mankind. But because he robbed from the 1%. So, folks, I do this every week, but I know there are plenty of brain cell deficient imbecilic Americans out there, uh, I'm not going to just pick on one area of the country. I'm going to say the entire country. There are imbecilic teabagger, teabagging motherfuckers that are, in, in in the words of the great Mario Petrus, you are a waste of sperm. This is my message to you idiots, even though you won't get it. There is no trickle down economics. Nothing has trickled down ever. There is nothing but siphon up economics, siphon up to the top 20%, the oligarchy, the corporate oligarch, okay? Last night on Facebook, somebody, somebody put up a picture uh, uh, discussing segregation and immigration, etc. Hey, we were all white at one time. We and were? It showed, it showed uh, a semen. Oh, how <laughs> funny. What a stupid ass. That's very funny. It, it is funny. Well, it's the semen that's white, not the spoim. Yeah. Not the sperm and the But that's what he was saying. We all started out as white. Spermatozoa. So why are we fighting? The first man, was it Homo erectus? came from South Africa. Now, some... If you believe that stuff. The speculation, they came from Asia, too. Most of those built-down man and all the other ones have been proved fakes. Lucy, etc. They were all fakes. Lucy was an ape. She wasn't in the sky with diamonds? No. She was an ape. Are you sure about this? Yes. You mean the archaeological finds? Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Anything's possible. They have never found a uh, a bridge, a transition from one from ape to man. Yeah, because otherwise the uh, gorillas and and orangutans and uh, and chimpanzees would be evolving into man right now. The Bible says that man was created. Right there okay. and then, as a species. Okay. He did not evolve from something. Listen, and it's all in theory, my friend. Um, yeah, that is theory. And as Charles Darwin, he never defended a theory of evolving from an ape. It doesn't exist. Evolution occurs in bacteria, in things of that nature. Adaptation. Adaptation. And you'll see that evolution is in you, 
you are not the same as you were at 14. You have evolved. Your body and brain have evolved. Just like you have um, members of the same species in different hemispheres. One is in, uh, comes from a, a hot desert, dry... Like the penguins! Uh, one comes from a dry, arid, you know, <clears throat> desert climate. One is from a tropical climate and one is from the north. From the north, where, where it, uh, the, te the climate is temperate and we have severe winters. Same species occurring in different parts of the world. And what about... Adaptation. Our, what about our own monk parakeets? In Edgewater, New Jersey. They must be... They must get heat from the... Um, the top of the telephone pole, the... Um, where they the do make their nests on the, you know... It's probably... Up there with the... Uh, <coughs> it's probably heat coming know. from those... Um, hey, um, they've adapted. I'm trying to think of a word. Okay. Uh, uh, well, electricians know what they are. There's a box up there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're and, and I bet there's there's warmth coming from and that. They because blow out now and then. Otherwise, how can uh, a tropical bird survive in the north? Yeah. Anyway, let us sink our go. teeth into these readings. Bingo, bingo. Sink them, sink them. Oh, oh yeah, I can I can feel it. I can feel the high humidity. Not in here. Uh, no, and it's a no, but I can feel it. Bolivia! Pope Francis apologized on Thursday for the sins and offenses committed by the Catholic Church against the indigenous peoples during the colonial era that's, that's nice. conquest of the Americans. That's very nice of him. I think it's very appropriate. It's a little late, wouldn't you say? The other popes didn't care. No, they did Maybe not. Maybe this guy cares. But that doesn't bring back the dead. Or that doesn't, that doesn't repay restitution for the suffering. And that too. History's first Latin American Pope humbly begged forgiveness during an encounter in Bolivia. First Latin American folk? Pope. Oh, Pope, Pope. Hey! Pope. Get the wax out of your ears! I, I got water in my water he's got left in his ear ears. from the shower. I'm sorry, Pope. Is he really? He's the first Latin American, he's Argentinian. Right. He's the first. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, as he spoke with indigenous groups and other activists in the presence of Bolivia's first indigenous president, Evo Morales. Francis noted that Latin American church leaders in the past had acknowledged that grave sins were committed against the native peoples of America in the name of God. Oh boy. Like what Republicans are doing now. St. John Paul II, during a 1992 visit to the Dominican Republic, apologized to the continent's indigenous people for the pain and suffering caused during the 500 years of the church's presence on the continent. Well, the whole, the whole entire Caribbean, you know, there, I don't think there's any more pure Caribbean Indians anymore. But Francis went further and said he was doing so with regret. He should, um, he should do, he should um, give a long apologetic speech to all of the America's indigenous people. I humbly ask forgiveness, not only for the offenses of the church herself, but also for crimes committed against the native peoples during the so-called conquest of America. 
We accept the apologies that are more than we can, could have hoped for from a man like Pope Francis, said indigenous leader Adolfo Chavez. The apology was significant. You should find, you should research his real indigenous name and change it. Given the controversy that has erupted in the United States over Francis's planned canonization of the 18th century Spanish priest Junipero Serra, who set up missions across California. Native Americans contend Serra brutally converted indigenous people to Christianity. Brutally. So this man should not be canonized. He should be shot from a cannon if he was alive, but he should not be canonized. Wiping out villages in the process. Well, look at the diseases they brought to America and to the Polynesian islands, uh, smallpox. And they oppose his canonization. The day threatened to become overshadowed by the Bolivian president's controversial gift to Francis upon his arrival, a crucifix carved into a hammer and a sickle. Well, he has a lot of apologizing to do. The uh, hammer and the sickle are communists. See, but he, they're, 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 so what are they, they doing? They're associating the totalitarianism of the, the church, of the old church with a totalitarianism, uh, uh, totalitarianism I of I have no idea what they're doing. Because um, it's it may be a little insult. Yeah, well, it was corrupted socialism and communism that became totalitarian. It, it wasn't that. See, they demonized things based on after they were corrupted. And then people think when you hear the word or you read the word right away, it's no good, it's bad. You know, like if they see Christianity, they think of the nuts. All right, the zealots, if they, they hear the Catholic Church, they think of all the bad things the Catholic Church did. They do? And why is it so powerful today? Hey, why why do why do Republicans still get elected and reelected? Because correct. there are people out there, lemmings, who don't look at the bad things, who don't analyze anything. Well, that's another thing. They just go by their stupid emotions. The critical there. mind is something that is developed and evolves. Some people don't have it. They have no analytical Some mind. Some people that, just go back and forth to work every day, and that's it. They think, like this okay. one here, watch TV, uh, go shopping, cook, take, uh, take mm -hmm. a shower, shit, piss, mm -hmm. watch more TV, you know, go go to doctor doctor uh, appointment, go back to the store again, come home, that's it, their whole existence. Mm -hmm. They're not, in other words, they're not uh, independent, free, critical thinkers. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Both the Vatican and the Bolivian government insisted Morales was not making a heretical or political statement with the gift, dubbed the Communist Crucifix. The Bolivian government said the gift wasn't a political maneuver, but rather a profound symbol that Morales thought the Pope of the poor would appreciate. Well, you should still keep religion and politics always separated. Ha! Even, even though I understand what he meant by it, he's the Pope of, he is the Pope of the poor. And um, they also have to realize that the Soviet Union <laughs> 
was a totalitarian regime. Republicans do not make that difference between the word socialism and what it means and totalitarianism. Well, look, look at those. It is the same. Well, look at those insane new Texas you will, textbooks in school from Texas. You will see in the coming days and months up to the election, you will see the right wing attack growing more vociferous against Mr. Bernie Sanders and his admitted socialism. Well, let me tell you something. Okay. There is more than enough material and dirt on Republicans to counter any Republican attack. They have so much dirt. Like, like if you were a stand-up comic, you would have an overflow of material. But Republicans are like cockroaches. They keep coming back. And you gotta keep throwing the truth at them. You have to be relentless. They have to be destroyed. The forces of evil and the enemy has to be destroyed. It cannot be done in this, this namby-pamby pacifist way you know, the, like uh, no. your Nancy Pelosi when she was uh, relevant. Oh, bipartisanship. Why can't we all get along? Well, that was Rodney King. Uh, 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 um, compromise, bipartisanship. You know when you have a anti-virus? It's a hippie wet dream from the 60s. An anti-virus program on your computer? Yeah. And it finds some malware or some virus some or Trojan. Trojans or something. Yeah. It will either delete them or it will sequester them. Quarantine it. Quarantine them. Now that's what Republicans have to be. They have to be quarantined. They have to be kept from power. They have to be kept from relevance. Yeah. Uh, the the, 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 uh, the FaceTime. Because you're never going to... Okay. You're because never you gonna, kill them. You're never going to change their mind. That's true. And, and, and they're always going to think the way they think because they're too far gone to... to I think they're, they're too far gone to be... They're incorrigible. They're incorrigible. They're right. too far gone to be redeemed in any way to be... Exactly. Uh, Even God admits that in the Bible. There are incorrigible people... He cannot reach them and never will reach them until the Judgment Day. Okay? So they cannot be changed. Look what they're doing with science. They're denying science. And why? Because it interferes with their business and their people who give them money to conduct their businesses so that their smokestacks can spew all of that crap up into the air and into our lungs, etc. Et Quick one here. Yes. It is common knowledge that drinking salt water when you are dehydrated is dangerous. Uh, salt in moderation is important. It's a you necessary. You didn't say that. Huh? It didn't say that. Oh, okay. Yet in the days before sports drinks, the first thing we got for dehydration during football practice was salt tablets with water. What's the difference? Well, yeah, and that was plain old cheap salt. That wasn't Himalayan pink salt or sea salt. The main difference is the amount of salt. When you're dehydrated, you need water. All right. But you need electrolytes. The so scientific term for various salts to survive. Seawater has way too much of these salts, which can cause you to become more dehydrated than if you hadn't drunk anything at all. Oh yeah, you can't drink seawater. No. It, it, the sea salt is wonderful, but in, in specified amounts. But if you're both dehydrated and low on salts, 
which is common in extreme physical activity, especially when you're sweating heavily and you drink only fresh water, which is has very little salt. You will de develop an electrolyte imbalance. Electrolytes are necessary for basic cell functions and symptoms range from mild to severe. And, and Gatorade and sports drinks are not going to do the trick. Too much sugar. It's, it's just a sugar down drink where they, they might throw some little potassium in there, little magnesium, maybe, mostly potassium, you know, cheap potassium, like a gluconate or something. But, you know, it's mostly they, sugar. They are not used much today because they typically provided only two of the necessary electrolytes, sodium and chloride. And they could easily provide too much of them if not enough water was drunk at the same time. For extreme exercisers, modern sports drinks do the job much more safely. This guy is a um, is this a is big. A woman. He might be a big. This woman. This woman might be a big agro suck up of the Ooh. food industry, corporate or suck up. Sports drinks do it more efficiently. She didn't even mention the difference between regular mined sodium chloride table salt and uh, sea salt, real sea salt or Himalayan pink or black salt mm -hmm. being rich in minerals and trace minerals. She had, has no knowledge of that yeah, or, well, or, or did not she... mention that. That's why she said about the sports drink. She's a jabroni. She is not that knowledgeable. Exactly. She is a female jabroni. You know. Well, now we don't have to insult the woman. Yes, we do. She is just. Yes, we do. What are you getting, like Gary Null now? No, she. You're is. worried about offending them? She's no, a jerk because she if you. She's ignorant of if, those facts. If you're going to write. But she, but she was able to put it the article in a major ah, paper. The major paper ah, took her article. Ah, without seeking out somebody who's really knowledgeable ah, in a subject. Like you. Well, my friend, speaking of me. Like you. I have a letter that has not been published yet. Ah, a new ah. one. Make sure you. You, you give it to me so I can put it on the internet, so I can make a picture of it. I have a folder for your for your news articles. Uh, Too bad you don't have the old ones. Uh, I have them somewhere. I have a collection. I have a collection. I have them somewhere. Okay. I got a collection. I got a folder. Hey. Okay. Uh, it is time. Have a few. What? You only have a few. You know, one time, uh, my, uh, one, or, one of my friends asked me, uh, Well, how many, how many, uh, yeah, 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 how many that they ever get published ever in the newspaper, the letters and everything? And oh my God, it must be well over sixty or seventy. You know? You know? I've the, never had one refused. Billy Morrow knows our voiceover artist. Billy Morrow, William H. Morrow the Third, knows somebody who was like that too. Hey, how come you're not a big shot? How come you're not a, you know, rah, 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 how come? In other words, the talent is there. You, the talent is obvious. You can see the talent. Okay? You can acknowledge it. But because you're not on top of your game, you're not... We're making the big bucks. Well, pe uh, people say, uh, people love to say, especially older generation folk, are you making any money doing it? Right away, if you're not making the big bucks and you're not in the spotlight, you're not established. Well, okay. This goes back to what we were discussing last week about materialism. Then they they downgrade yes. your abilities, your talent. That's correct. They put and it down. What you, and what you put out. Because every fucking thing has to have a price tag with them. That's great. Everything, even human life, and this true. capitalist system you know what Jesus in America said? has you know a what price tag. What? A prophet is not respected in his own country. Oh, I believe it. There you go. 
all everybody I, you're the only one that that um well some of the people on Facebook too acknowledge what I do as having value my relatives are not supportive Never. of anything I do Never. because they think like hey James you making any money doing it and if I said yes you're making enough how much are you making then they get nosy it's like everything hey. is everything is dollars and cents dollars it and is. cents that's what it is with these jabroni anyway it's time for lunch I told you last week when we had that discussion we are all defined by our job the job we do that's like an if old we're a garbage that's man, like we're a, a fucking yes yeah, that's, that's like that's like an old fart older generation way of thinking that's like what what your uncles. But it still goes How your on. uncles thought. I mean. Well, it, women women in America are still rudely ask you what do you do for a living. Don't at, get back to that thing. At the be because we disagree on that. Why they do that? Yeah, they're sizing yeah. the man up for. That's great. In other words, they're looking. They're they're look. They're not looking at. Oh. I, I can get a hot date and I'll finally get laid. They're not looking at that. No way, Jose. They're, they're looking because God made them fucked up that way. No, they're looking for a person who is going to offer them security. Nest. Nest. So I am. I am a. A. Um, I don't want to say slave. Financial slave. Ah, come on! I don't do that. I am here to entertain, provide take care of rescue in other words I am here to produce so what what you're saying is modern-day American relationship is very much like a sales job with a quota no. I love you but when you start st when you stop producing I don't love you anymore that's not what I'm, I'm gonna saying. give you the pink slip I'm saying what happened with mr. Bill Clinton what happened with Bill Clinton Bill Clinton got a blowjob. Bill Clinton yeah. and his ilk do not consider that a relationship. The consider. woman who is asking you what you do, she's after a relationship, not a fuck. Right, but a relationship also includes love, uncondi hopefully unconditional love. Well, how can you offer that immediately? But, but love and, and materialism is not the same. Nobody said it was. But our society is putting such a huge priority on it, materialism, that okay. the women, even the younger ones and the older ones that are over the hill, they all automatically, by default, ask the man what he does. Unless they are a slut. Who's just interested in banging? You see, you're 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 putting you're putting the ability for a man to provide and, 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 and pay the bills together with real love. A woman could find a very compatible man and have real love without him having money. Love takes time. Love takes interest. Love takes work. Work. I'm, uh, it's not something I'm, so, that I'm is sorry, but there. you're 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 thinking like the guy that runs eHarmony about the uh, compatibility, yeah. scientific matching. No, no, no. What you were it's looking for—it's all for. chemistry, my friend. Love is starts with chemistry. But you're not looking for that. You e want either you you're want my type or you're not my type. I don't you care. You want to bang her? No, She's I'm talking. No, for I, a hobby. no, no, no. Forget about banging. I'm talking about Mother Teresa. Not Mother Teresa. Oh I'm my talking God. about. God all right. Jesus. No, I'm just. I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about. Oh God. Uh, long-term relationships. They develop. They don't. Why does money have to be a part of that? Where are you gonna live? How the fuck do I know? Well, what are you talking well, you, about? Well, you, 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 you make things work out. Two heads are better than one. Well, where are you going to live? Somewhere. That's money. Somewhere. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to lunch. Take it away, William Hamilton, Moral the Third. After the um, uh, How to Defeat a Conservative Bible Quotes. And incidentally, you can pause them and read them.
if you want, if you wish. Well, not if you want, you'd better. You do it, do it. Pa it. Pause it, read it, learn it, and then listen to Billy Morrow. Yeah. And we'll be back for the second half of our show. A any holidays this Monday? No. So it's not a holiday weekend? No. Good. So I This is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living in the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye bye. We're, we're a holiday unto ourselves. I'm a holiday. <laughs> okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow the third. Doing promo. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, well, folks. <laughs> Continue with the second half of uh, this week's show, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth. I am, of course, your host, James P. Madonna, and I am with the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, Capitalism in a Cock Shell. <coughs> Maybe I could hear some... We'll hear the ocean. I don't know, man. He says that um, I'm getting a, a voice from another dimension that's saying that... Um, 99? No, not get smart. With the shoe. Hello, chief. <laughs> no, it says that um, the, re the 2016 Republican clown bus has to get new tires. Because there's so many clowns in there now, that especially with Chris Christie sitting in there it's just putting too much uh, wear and tear on the tires. They got to get their tires changed. Yeah. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. It's a lot of, but it'll lighten up. It'll lighten up quicker than you think. All the, all the ones that are the most insane. <laughs> the usual, the typical ones. Your, your, Name one that is not. Your Mike Huckabee, your Ted Cruz. Your, your Rick Santorum, these are the ones that will drop like flies down the road. But name one of the 15. That is not a nut. Yeah. Well, the more, the more despicable uh, and crazy people that's, uh, that are, are campaigning for the Republican Party, the better it is. 
for the other side, the better it is for the um, Democrats or, you know, uh, progressive independent, if there's any extra that decide to run. I think Jill Stein wants to run, right? Jill Stein and, uh, what's the guy's name? The same one who ran. Oh, uh, 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 Anderson? Something, Anderson. Something. No. I never heard Jill Stein speak. Have you? Yeah. Is she a smart cookie? Rocky Anderson. Rocky Anderson. Is yeah. she a smart cookie, Jill Stein? Yeah. Well, you know. All She's progressive, right? Yeah, you better be. Just, but, just but, I mean, party. but I mean, is she like, is she really, uh, is she gun ho like, like Elizabeth Warren? I mean, is she really? I don't know. She doesn't get that much face time oh, okay. for you to make those kinds of decisions. She's third party. You know, that, 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 that's, a, that's a good sign. Okay? Well, right off the bat. I think if, um, Jesse Ventura doesn't make a move. I think that a um, Bernie Sanders Elizabeth Warren ticket will be outstanding. The first uh, female vice president, but but not not just that. I mean the fact that they're two very similar to like minds. You know what I mean? I think the, the they will make an outstanding one-two punch uh, 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 as a team. Um, when, you, when people hear the word Jesse Ventura, they automatically call you a nut because nah. they consider conspiracy theorists to be whack jobs. But in reality, many conspiracies were proven true over time. So they're not the, the crazies that they used to be thought of as conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy theorist, but not with crazy conspiracies. That's because there's a lot of conspiracies going on. A lot of them. Okay. I, 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 the, the one about the uh, the reptilian alien race being underground. Oh, jeez. I mean, I don't... Uh, it just doesn't sit right with me, you know? It doesn't... That, they sure didn't help us with the design and building of the F-35, did they? If alien civilizations really wanted to help Earthlings, we would be flying around in anti-gravity devices. We wouldn't have to worry about anything that requires kerosene or jet fuel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or plugging a battery in to drive your car, you know, uh, worrying about where to plug in if, you, if you're on Route 66 going through the desert, you know, or, or any, any uh, gas problem. But I believe they do have the scientific capability right now to just drop fossil fuels. And make, yeah, it, and but make it, it obsolete. I know they they have that science. Yeah, but knowledge. it ain't gonna happen. No, no, it's not gonna happen. But they, I believe, we have that technology, that knowledge today. Well, certainly, we got enough to, uh, you know, the, from the sun for crying out loud. Jeez, it's free. It's from free. From the sun. The, it's uh, free. The free electricity from the ground, Tesla style. The solar energy, the hydroelectric, the power. The, it goes on and on. But it, then how are the Koch brothers going to make any move? Oh, like the whole, like everybody on this planet thinks about how happy are the Koch brothers in their private little elitist lives. Like people really give a shit if they're happy or not. You know what I mean? There, there's billions of people on this planet. We all have to worry about how happy the Cokes and the Rothschilds are. That's what happened. They took over. We ha we really ha should care if, if they're content or not. I believe the title of the new newsletter was We Let It Happen. Okay? Mm. 
This was supposed to be. Yeah, and I thought I was going to get a democracy. Yeah. Which means run by the majority. But it is run by the oligarchy and the corporations. Hot off the pancake, Riddle Man. Newsletter censored. Mm -hmm. Get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. And yeah. the God Project with four myths exposed. Four Christian, quote unquote, myths. So called exposed. Christians, yeah. Four myths exposed. exposed. So, in, in a sense, you are continuing the work of the uh, late, great Herbert W. Armstrong. No. I'm just working from the Bible, that's all. Has nothing to do with a man. No, I None mean, of this I mean in exposing man. things that uh, that were misconstrued, misconceptions. Uh, well, you know, yeah, but you know, Bible truth. Once, once a Herbert comes on the scene, and he finds a truth, and he exposes it to you, then you work with the truth, not with Herbert. No, you look it up. And you prove you've already done that if you're going to right. be working with the truth. Just like I'm saying, Martin forget Luther, about the man. Just like when Martin Luther did his exposing against the Catholic Church hundreds of years ago. Yeah. But what about what what what, what you know? I mean, uh, what does that have to do with uh, because right now today? Corrupt today. The Christians they worship Jesus and not the message. I am exposing the message, not a Jesus or a Herbert or any other man. It is not about a man. Yeah, the Jesus, the, the man, the flesh and blood man known as Jesus was just the, the vehicle that um, um, Yahweh, or whatever you want to call him, God, uh, the the second God, the Word, had ha had to, to take the form. You're a little confused. No, he the, the second God had to take. What's the second God's name? He has uh, more than one name. No, that's Jesus. That's the Word. The first God is the Father. Right. No. When I, no, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking, well, about talking about the second God is the one who That's took Yahweh. who took human form to yeah. become Jesus. Yeah. So, so what about it? Jesus the man was just the a flesh messenger. and blood. This guy, man. He oh, was a he messenger. He loves to interrupt old James P. Madonna. He he needed a human form to take in order to come to earth to uh, complete his mission. To Jesus. Die. The body that was crucified was the human form. But he had to take a human form to die. Of course he did, but that was the man they called Jesus. Now, the word what Jesus... What does that have to do with his message? You're trying to say that the actual name of the second great spirit, the second great God that took the human form, his real name is Jesus. Is that what you're saying? His name was Yahweh. His name was Melchizedek. His name was Jesus. His name is I Am. His name is, uh, is misconstrued as Jehovah. That's what I said. That's well, what I said before. And you said, no, no, no. His name is Jesus. I says, but he's known by these other names also. That's correct. But what does that have to see? We're back on the man again. I want to get away from the man. It is only important the message. Not the man. Okay. You're right. Forget about the man. Whoever gives you a message. If somebody comes to you tomorrow, his name is Alberto uh, Chavez, and he tells you that, uh, hey, Union Street is closed off because there's a, there's a, a work being done with a uh, water uh, uh, a pipe. I'll thank him and I'll take an alternative route. Correct. I'll take his message. Is, ah, you're taking the message. I'm not focusing on Alberto Chavez. Right. I'm focusing on the information he gave me. That's my point. In gotcha. Time. I follow what you're saying. You're scratching me exactly where I itch, brother. From another mother. Donald like no, Trump. Like no other. 
does not appreciate the size of the community he has offended. Huh? Really? You cannot drive anywhere in the country and be out of range of at least one Spanish language radio station. Well, who's going to help the new immigrants uh, acclimate if they don't have any, any, any of that? Does he really think all the people listening are criminals and rapists? The properties Trump owns require an army of service personnel, a large percentage, if not a majority, may be Hispanic. And a percentage of those surely are Mexican. I wonder if they all picked the same two days in the middle of a business week to call in sick, might his perspective pers perspective change? That's a boycott. He's calling for a boycott. I guess so. Is you know, a any, any immigrant from a non-English speaking country, when they come to the United States for the first time, it's very intimidating, you know, so I think they, they, they do, they all have their own uh, American-based media, you know, whether it be newspaper, cable, TV station, radio. Telemundo! Not just Telemundo, the, the Russians have it, the yes, Polish, the Polish have it, yes. they all have their Correct. U.S.-based uh, forms of media in their native language with news from the old country and news from the United States. It helps them, I think it helps them to acclimate, acclimate to yes. the United States. It's, yeah. it's, very, it's very intimidating. You know, all of a sudden you're, you're going that's from one culture why. that speaks one language to another di totally different culture that speaks another language. But that's not why this man said but, this in the letter. But because they're different? He said it in the letter to show Mr. Trump that there's a hell of a lot of them oh. in this country. Oh, without a doubt. That you have offended. I think the Latin, friend. I think the Latin, I think the Latin uh, American community uh, is even, might be, it's even larger than the, the black community. It is growing. It is growing. Well, I don't think there should be a hell of a lot of growing today. I think there should be some laws on, you know, uh, how many kids you can have. Everybody, everybody, you, you know. Especially the people that shouldn't have them. Especially the do have people them? that are that are, are low-income people. After two kids, you you don't get any more help for that. For after that, you you get your. You, you get no help or you get your tubes tied, man. You get a tubal ligation. That's it. That's it. No, not, not all these thousand and one kids in, in, in living in a, in, in, a, um, in a ghetto or a trailer, you know, and you don't have a pot to piss in and you got all these kids running around. But God said be fruitful and multiply. Who, who to, who's going to take care of the kids then? Well, we don't know. It was, it, it oh, was you're a thinking, day then. You're thinking like these people in real Catholic countries that don't believe in contraception now. Wow. Your statement is like, you know, just bang out those babies. Well, that was at a time when the uh, earth was not filled and there was plenty of land yeah. and each could own his own land yeah. and his own vine. But, so you needed, etc. You needed family members to and work. had a family. To work yes. the farm. Yeah. Infant mortality was high back then. Yeah. The human lifespan wasn't. Oh no! It was nine hundred thirty years, I believe. Adam lived. No, I'm 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 thinking of. Uh, that was later. Um, yeah, <coughs> centuries later. What I mean is after the flood, you needed kids to work because everybody lived on family-owned farms. Everyone made their own food, their own living. 
you know, er everybody's profession was theirs. They were independent. They didn't work for the man. They were independent contractors. Nobody worked for the man back then. Yeah. Which, to me, sounds like a lot of freedom compared yeah. to working for the man. The liberal media is trying to brand Donald Trump as a kook and a racist while twisting the story to make it look like he is against all Hispanics. Nothing could be further from the truth. Trump represents everything the liberal media is against. That's why they are scared of him and are trying to knock him down as soon as possible. Trump is a true leader who is not afraid to tell it like it is. He sticks to his word and does not bow to anyone. Isn't that well, refreshing? I do have to respect somebody who um, is honest and upfront like that. Who's not going to be two-faced? But know. he has one problem. What's that? The problem that the Roman Catholic Church had, that it now has to apologize to the indigenous peoples to the fore. He's an asshole? He had power. Oh, he's a multi-billionaire. That's correct. With a very hot So his door. words, his words, he can bring about the deeds. You see? Well, well, I, I do, being that I'm an extremely honest person, I do have to say that the proof is in the pudding as far as European, Caucasian, or European immigrants, their communities are very different from the communities of immigrants that came from third world countries. Because with third world countries, you have the ghettos, you have the graffiti, you have the filth, and you have high crime, but when you go into a European immigrant community, it's clean, there's really no crime, everybody's walking around, you know, uh, with clean clothes, well, you know, dressed decently and, and all that stuff. Unless you arrive in this country illegally, you don't get in this country without Mula. Oh yeah, I heard that now, uh, my uh, Dr. Bill. I heard uh, uh, um, um, a Chinese uh, a friend says, nowadays, if somebody from Asia wants to go to live in the United States, uh, they don't uh, necessarily look at your uh, profession, you know, or your resume or whatever education. They look at money. You gotta, you gotta pay, you gotta pay somebody well, to be no, an American. But you have to, you have to have money. You have to have uh, uh, wherewithal. You have to have a sponsor in the United States. Right. That you ain't going to be on welfare, etc. Et yeah. You see, the b being that the um, the conservatives that all you darling uh, 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 tea bagging Bible Belt people have voted in. All these conservatives, they are obsessed with whether or not you're self-sustaining, whether or not you're going to uh, go on the public, uh, like the immigration lawyer told me, the public charge, which I guess means what? The taxpayer's dole? Meanwhile, they steal from the taxpayer every day. Well, that's okay. The Republicans. But, but they're obsessed with non-rich people the poor low income or middle class no the poor let's just stick they're obsessed with them asking for help so you have to come here with money they disdain the poor right the Bible e says they have the poor in their sights but whether you're uh, American born citizen poor or whether you are from another country the Republicans have that one thing in common they are obsessively uh, uh, in, in contempt, hold contempt and, and hatred for the poor.
Your story bashes Donald Trump for telling the truth about illegal aliens. He says things that many of us are too afraid to talk about. Mm, I reviewed the editions of the record, which is our newspaper here, for four days. And unless I missed it, there was no mention of the fatal shooting of Kate Steinle in San Francisco, allegedly by a Mexican in the country illegally. Kate Steinle? Steinle. Oh. You are not aware of this story? Was she white? Yes, yeah, she was white. Well, then they, they got to get real tough with illegal immigration now. They got tough with him. He was deported five times. Deported five times? You should get the death penalty. Did she die? She's dead. You should get the death penalty. He shot her. You fucking ultra liberals, and 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 you're being anti death penalty. She sh he shot this this American white woman. He's an illegal Mexican. He should get the death penalty. Look at his. But he shouldn't have been here. He was deported. He, he still five should get the times. death penalty. He should be held liable. He was deported five times. Well, he's getting back in. No kidding. That's my point. Uh, you know, whatever happened to all this uh, G.W. Bush homeland security? And now they're making a big deal out of it because the sheriff couldn't get answers from the FBI or whatever about him. They had to let him go. You know, San Francisco is a sanctuary city for the aliens in the Yeah, ultra liberal, ultra, they don't like ultra them liberal assholes as the San Francisco is. If they, if they're just if they're they have this hands off, pacifist, Pollyanna kind of people over there, they just you know oh yeah, but they're not protecting these kinds of guys. But he, this guy should not have been here. He keeps on getting in. Correct. Five times. Now whose fault is that? Is it San Francisco's fault? He's getting in here somehow. No, it's not San Francisco. Well, thank you very it's much. It's San Francisco and California's fault for not sticking him on death row. Forget about that stuff, okay? He's getting in here somehow. Well, he's, he's crossing not, the border it's not, after it, being deported, deported four times. Deporting him after murdering this American girl. No, forget about that. Is not paying for the restitution of murdering the girl. He is now in jail for that. We, we're not talking about that. We're talking about what is the problem with the Border Patrol or whatever who lets him in four times or five. Why does a person that uh, has a uh, bad record Correct. Continue to, but it's still the the uh, the the attitude up in San Francisco, the ultra pigeon livered little Pollyanna liberals up there. Supposedly the sheriff. It's the same thing like with that kid who just killed those nine uh, people in the church. They should fry him too. That's after the fact. Yeah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about he got the gun. He got the gun because the FBI never got its ass in gear and sent back on the background check that he was not eligible to get a gun. Really? Now, is yeah, it, is this is it, my point. Yeah, there get, are problems. They're getting, they're getting things without having proper background checks. They're getting guns. They're getting into the country without proper background checks. Bingo. They're being allowed to come in time after time. Now, stop me if I'm wrong, but is it true that one of the southern states, it could be Alabama, wants to allow minors to carry handguns, children to be able to carry handguns? I don't know about children, but the laws are on the books now that you can carry. And be a minor? I don't know about kids. Is this article... To, it doesn't matter with kids. Minors, Why are kids. people being allowed to carry? You don't think it's worse when kids have them? Of course it is. But let's <laughs> deal with the big problem first. Well, when, when little kids in grammar school and high school are, are packing heat and, and, and uh, at the drop of a hat, they're, they're, they're blowing people away, I'd say that that's even worse than the adults have, having them. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I rather the have... The adults are walking around the streets with the 8K-47 strapped to their back. Isn't that going to chase away? If they walk into a, um, a place... Uh, yes, uh, it, isn't that's why that some people don't want them in there. Isn't that going to spook all the customers away? It should. I wouldn't want to eat How there. How do you ascertain, one, two, three, whether he's a bad man or a good man? If, he, if he's that paranoid... That he's walking. He's not paranoid. No, in other they words, just want to, they just want to show off. If he if he needs to have, and uh, what's this American weapon called? AR-15. AK. No, that's AK-47. Is the AR, Russian gun? Yeah. All right, the AR. Whatever. If, he, if whatever he's got an is. automatic military weapon strapped strapped over his shoulder, and he needs that to go into a barbecue joint. And order some pulled pork sandwich and uh, some brisket and whatever, and he needs that to go sit down and have lunch. Something's wrong with that picture. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and That's needs to show it to rub rub it in your face. <laughs> All right. Besides the Trump story. There were four short overviews of other important stories in the newspaper that day, including whether insulin pills could prevent diabetes, the closing of a local restaurant, how to take back roads to the New Jersey shore, and a referendum in Greece. But nowhere to be found was a story on this preventable and senseless crime. Shame on the record! Yeah, I'm not too crazy about the record myself. I think they, um, there's a lot of things they don't post that they should be posting. Well, uh, they're not publishing my letter right now. It's been a, maybe three weeks or so. Really? Yeah. They, um, um, they were, um, this, this, this gives you an idea of how frivolous the uh, American media has become. And uh, this was uh, CBS, the local New York metropolitan area CBS uh, news. I think the guy's name was Bill Rather. I think that's his name. But anyway, he was covering a story, ridiculous story. Shame on you, CBS. Ridiculous. Talk about... Uh, uh, distraction, getting America's um, focus off of uh, the, the real corruption in uh, in America, in Washington, and, and in Trenton, New Jersey, mm. is is to is to have a long story about how these kids in Andover, Massachusetts, how these school kids were digging. They found something in the ground, and they were digging with spoons. And over time, they found a huge boulder underground, and they, uh, the, the, the town re uh, uh, pulled the boulder out, and now it is like a mascot of the school, you know, uh, some kind of a symbol of I don't know pre perse perseverance, or that the kids got together as a team to dig the boulder. Out. Who the fuck cares about a boulder at at a school? I mean. Aren't there much more important things to discuss yes. on the news? I have no use for the mainstream media in America today. Absolutely no use for them. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Climate change is shrinking the geographic range <clears throat> of many, many bumblebee species in North America and in Europe putting them in danger of extinction. In a study of 67 species, researchers found that a geographic squeeze occurred on both continents over the past 40 years. While the northern borders of each species territory remained about the same on average, the southern borders generally moved northward that shift by more than a hundred miles in some cases was most pronounced for species 
in the southern parts of the study areas. In North America, the study extended from the southern United States to northern Alaska. The range loss implies that populations have declined and are on the road to disappearing, said study leader Jeremy Kerr of the University of Ottawa in Canada. Results were released Thursday by the journal Science. Analysis showed the changes were not due to differences in land use or the use of pesticides. The only explanation we've got is that it's too hot for them. Well, the earth is totally screwed up in every which way. And uh, the debate still goes on whether or not it's uh, induced by man or if it's just the uh, the planet tilting on its axis you know and um, it could be both but I would say uh, any article you read that is uh, that criticizes the man-made theory the proven fact rather by scientists is bogus right-wing propaganda trying to um, attack Try, uh, trying to attack the scientists proof evidence and what about not allowing scientists to influence the EPA then how on earth where where do politicians get their information uh, from when they don't have scientists well they get it from their Bible their Bible usually you get it you're supposed to have a reliable source for your expertise yeah. You know what I mean? Not, not a not a, a, a rewritten, yeah, uh, a stupid rewritten a, a theory. Not scientists. An yeah. ideology that's unproven. Ah. Care said that because the geographic ranges of species overlap, the new study does not mean that vast areas of the continents have lost bumblebees completely. Rather, it's, it means that many areas host fewer species than they used to. Such loss of diversity can hammer, hamper an environment's ability to cope with changes such as droughts. The bee trend was surprising because other land creatures like butterflies have extended their range north while maintaining their southern boundaries. May Berenbaum, who heads the entomology department of the University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign, praised the scope of the study and said it shows bumblebees will not simply shift northward to cope with rising temperatures. It's not that simple, said Birabam, who didn't participate in the study. They may be running out of options. Hmm, interesting. Well, you better, you better start caring um, governments of the world about our pollinators. That's all I have to say because uh, when the pollinators go, there goes our food supply. Correct. For the, for the world, the agriculture of the world. Correct. I'm not just talking about, about America or American politicians or we're talking about the world food supply. Better take heed. Um, Anything in the readings about... It only took a week into his presidential campaign for two of Governor Christie's most vocal critics to say they are ready for the governor to clean out his desk in Trenton. Oh, that'll be fantastic. He, he's sure doing a good job cleaning out all the food supply. But a measure a 
you know what? But a measure being crafted by two Democratic state senators that would require the governor to resign in order to run for president is missing a most crucial supporter, the governor himself. That the legislation is in the works is not surprising, given that a recent poll said a majority of residents think Christie should step down now that he is running for president. And the assembly speaker has said the governor should at least consider it. There's something very important that they're leaving out of this reading about Chris Christie, but finish, finish it. But the bill's development is a turnaround for Loretta Weinberg, the state Senate majority leader from Teaneck. On the Monday before Christie's presidential announcement, Weinberg said that she was not yet ready to join the calls for Christie to depart. Yeah, she's a suck-up to Christie, right? No, she's behind uh, the investigation of the GW Bridge. Yeah. One of them. I wonder if she supported Barbara Bono. Later that night, Christie announced he was directing expedited reviews of firearms permits submitted by domestic abuse victims, a move he said was common sense, but others characterized as pandering to the conservative gun lobby just before the governor announced his presidential bid. Meanwhile, he did not take action on a bill sponsored by Weinberg to close a loophole to require domestic violence offenders give up all their firearms. That kind of crystallized for me that Governor Christie is busy and going to continue being busy appealing to the average Republican primary voters. He was an absentee governor even before he announced his candidacy. Which is more often than not at odds with the residents of New Jersey. So she and Senator Ray Lesniak of Union County started formulating a proposal that would require New Jersey's governor to resign as soon as he or she declares a campaign for president. State law calls for the lieutenant governor to fill a gubernatorial vacancy. Lesniak said the bill would be introduced the next scheduled quorum of the Senate on July 20th. Plans for the bill were first reported on Monday night by New Jersey Advance Media. While Christie is seeking the 2016 Republican presidential nomination, he is insisting that he insists he isn't going anywhere before his term is up in 2017. Yeah, they, 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 um, Christie's not the type to, uh, to give the people of New Jersey what they really want. <laughs> he, he's gonna, he's going to, uh, stay put to make everyone's life miserable of course, but there's one bit of recent news that they left out, and that's the fact that Chris Christie agrees with um, his Republican colleagues about raising the retirement age to 69, so you don't get to collect your Social Security and retire at a decent age and enjoy life a little bit. No, you get to work, basically. Work, 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 longer hours. Republicans want people to work longer hours and retire at 69. This way you will most likely die, drop dead, before you will get to actually enjoy any retirement or spend any of your 
Social Security money. Mm -hmm. Social Security is not an entitlement. It's it belongs to we the people. It's bought and paid for. But they conveniently leave out important things like Chris Christie making that statement that he is all for increasing the retirement age. This is my job. I love my job, Christie said. After announcing his campaign last Tuesday, Christie headed north to New Hampshire, the first state with a primary, <coughs> and stayed there until Saturday. He held, <coughs> excuse me, he held town style, town hall style events and accepted endorsements there in Maine. He returned to Trenton on Monday and stayed part of Tuesday to sign bills. He was then scheduled to spend the rest of the week on a personal trip in Idaho. He was visiting Joe Blow in Idaho? At the Allen and Company Sun Valley Conference. The annual retreat hosted by the investment firm draws marquee celebrities, including this year, media mogul Rupert Murdoch. That scumbag. Apple CEO Tim Cook. Another scumbag. And Tesla founder Elon Musk. Now, this man who's using the name of the great Tesla did he get permission from any uh, any surviving relatives of Nikola Tesla to use his name? I'm just wondering how he got away with using the name of, such, copyrighted. A, of such a great man. No? New Jerseyans have an interest in Christie's travels. As governor, he is required to have a security detail, a cost paid by taxpayers, and will continue to be. Christie said last week, even as he campaigns for president. Since 2010, Christie's full month in office, records show that taxpayers have spent $1.34 million for travel-related security. A poll by Monmouth University of 503 adults last week said, 82% feel Christie's presidential campaign should pay his security costs outside the state. The same poll said that 57% of residents said Christie should resign, while 71% said they do not think the governor can run for president and lead the state. Lead the state? Lead. Lead? Lead us to where? Oblivion? He, well, he ain't here. He ain't leading. He's not leading. He was always the That's absentee, the absentee governor. He can't lead the state. Running around to become president. Huh. But legislation that would force Christie's resignation is political theater. There's no doubt in my mind that Senator Lesniak and Weinberg do not like Chris Christie. It's obviously partisan attack on Governor Christie. Um, is, um, as a senator, uh, is Bernie Sanders still allowed to vote uh, on uh, senatorial decisions? Even of course, he... he's still in the Senate. Oh, okay. Why not? Yeah, okay. It's just that Chris Christie is a governor, but he was he was always traveling more than he was in Trenton. And therein lies the problem. He, he was always on uh, uh, out of state. He's on the road again. I think he was out of state more so than in New Jersey. He was always being invited somewhere and always campaigning for the party. You notice uh, doing things for the party. Why on earth did Chris Christie have to meet with the president of Mexico for New Jersey Mexican relations? It sounds ridiculous to me. Well, it is, but it 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 it, it 
it bolsters their uh, worldwide foreign a, a, a foreign uh, experience with foreign countries. You see. It puts him. It puts him more in the spotlight. It, 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 it's, it's PR for yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Well, bolsters their little resume. Oh, I spoke to the Mexican uh, uh, pres el presidente. We had a cordial meeting. Yeah, cordial. A spokesman for Christie said in an email, it's impossible to respond to every bit of silly nonsense that comes from the legislature. The governor has been clear. He is never disconnected from doing his job as governor. Never disconnected. Correct. Just like he is never disconnected from the uh, American agricultural uh, 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 industry. <laughs> oh God, the, the, uh, the American food industry is never disconnected with that. We have one more. Okay, this is a a calmer. Oh, it's one of those yes. Uh, yes. one of those readings. Gotcha. My first marriage ended badly. We simply grew apart and infidelity entered the picture on her part, not mine. The good things I got out of that marriage are two great daughters. Fast forward to the present. I have been married to a like-minded woman for more than seven years. She is beautiful. Oh, I was just going to ask that, you know. She is smart, strong, independent, and very sexy. Yeah. We have a wonderful little four-year-old child. Unfortunately, my wife has informed me that although she considers me a great father, a great husband, and her best friend, she has lost the spark for me. You know, um, this um, seems to be a common occurrence over the long haul with, with the marriages. They, they, I guess they, they don't follow the vows. You know, they should... But this is a spark. Not a vow. Well, a spark. A spark uh, is gone. A spark is is uh, means that there's something missing. There's a problem there. But it's there's their no duty, based on the vows, to try to fix it and find out why the spark is lost. They need counseling. Well, she didn't go that far. Right. She has admitted having a brief affair last week. There last you go. Year. That they go for a strong, smart, independent career woman. And very sexy. She had an affair. Do not forget that. Usually thing. domestic women don't go out and fraternize and meet men to have affairs with. She has also told me that she feels something is missing from our marriage but cannot define what it is. Well, she should have sat down and spoke with him before having the affair. She should have discussed it. You know what I mean? It's like she had the affair and then she discussed it. I am heartbroken. The man is. Well, I feel sorry for him, the poor guy, you know what I mean? Yet I still love her with all my heart. Mm -hmm. well. And I want to make things right with her again. She has agreed to start couples counseling with me. We have already been to one session. I thought she may be depressed, but my wife outright denies that she is. My question is, do you think I have any hope that my wife will love me again the way I love her? It depends on the communication that goes on with the counseling. 
Your wife might not ever love you the way you love her. And that's because two people rarely love in the same way, at the same time, and with equal ten intensity. Then why do they bother to get married instead of and f and f being frivolous about marriage? Long relationships wax and wane. Wax on, wax wane off. off. Wane off. <laughs> wax with, the bishop. With one partner initiating the dance sometimes, and the other initiating it at other times. Let's face it. Modern day women, according to what I see on all these shows on TV, they, they're like freaks. <gasps> They're like freaks. They're freaks themselves. You know what I mean? It's like a society of tattooed body piercings, uh, uh, fucked up music, uh, uh, independent, you know, I mean, uh, no more family, traditional family values, and you know, where there's a mommy and a daddy and kids, and you know, uh, um, uh, it's all like uh, thousand and one single mothers out there, you know, uh, coddling their kids and spoiling them. No discipline. Kids are monsters. No respect. Goes on and on and on. It's a total freakazoid society. You and your wife can come back from the brink. Couples counseling will help, but only if both parties are fully committed to the process. There you go. The magic words. One thing I noticed is that your previous marriage ended badly because you and your former wife grew apart. Your ex was unfaithful and now this same dynamic seems to have happened again. Infidelity affecting one relationship is a personal tragedy. When it happens twice, it's a pattern. Well, in addition to couples counseling, I hope you each see a counselor separately. You are not responsible for your wife's choices, but insight about her own life and your own life can lead to change which can positively affect you and your marriage. It sounds expensive, man. In other words, ah! they want out the She's saying go for couples counseling, but also see people separately? Yes. Well, why can't they go to a qualified couples counselor that's perhaps a psychologist, PhD in psychology, and he could dope them both out and save money? That's what I would do. You know, this, 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 this bullshit of sitting there, you know, and talking, doing all the talking, and having some shrink just nod their head, writing on, in a pad, and, oh really, uh-huh, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and they're getting a hundred dollars an hour. That's total crap, man. That's a scam. It's a legal scam. Do your job. It's not an hour anymore. It used to be 53 minutes. Now it's down even lower. Now it's a 45-minute session. Well, it might be or might be less. I, I hear, I hear a, a psychiatrist can get these uh, uh, in our area hundred dollars for 45 minutes and what do they do they 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 the psychiatrist, the psychiatrist they give you a pill yeah oh let me let me renew your prescription oh let me give you i'll give you i'll give you three refills this time okay <gasps> bop it bop your rights down and you're talking you're doing all the talking he's not really psychoanalyzing you he's just listening or she's listening I'm listening, like Dr. Fraser Crean. I'm listening. I'm listening. Hundred dollars for forty-five minutes. Very quick one. All right. Very I drop, small. I drop my my jiggle my jig um levity belt. You bastard! You. The man convicted in May of having sex on Florida's Cortez Beach <laughs> nearly a year ago was sentenced to two and a half years in prison on Monday. Well, he wanted, he wanted the breeze, the tropical trade winds to blow through his genitalia. 
Jose Caballero, 40, was found guilty. Caballero? Caballero. Caballero. Was found guilty of having sex on a public beach in broad daylight with Alyssa Alvarez, 21. Broad? Oh, 21 years old. Broad daylight with a broad. On July 20. Nearby witnesses caught the two on video, with Alvarez moving on top of Caballero in a sexual manner. They should have got a little tent. They should have pitched a tent on the beach. And testified that a three-year-old girl saw the act. Mommy, Daddy, what are those people doing? Are they fighting? Are they wrestling? <laughs> Because how, if they're wrestling, how come the man's coolie is going up and down? <laughs> how come not, what, not one of them are wearing a mask at a... A what? A mask. They're Spanish! Lucha Libre! <laughs> Lucha Libre. My yeah, Lu Lucha Libre porn, right? Lucha porn. Alvarez uh. was sentenced to time served in May. But prosecutors sought more time for Caballero due to a previous conviction. He was older than her? Yes, and he didn't learn from the first time. How did these, how did these particular older guys... Get the young chickaroonies. Get these young chickaroonies. I don't know, man. It's a question that is old as time. Maybe, he's, maybe he deals drugs. We maybe he's know. a bad boy. He's a bad man. We don't know. Or I'm he, sure he would have... You think he might be... You think he might have Scalotta? I'm sure he would have gone up for more than two and a half years if he was dealing drugs. Or maybe he would have got deported five times and came back. You think You think Mr. Caballero had a lot of uh, uh, Scalotta? A lot of... Um, that could explain why in 21. Huh? That could explain why a 21 is allowing her body to be used in that manner. It can't be. It, I I, mm, I I hate to be negative and say that it's not real love because you know then then it would ruin things for uh, people out there that are uh, that have an age difference but oh. you know I mean it's hard to say but uh, in general in general usually women that are that young tend to stay within their own age group and if you're and if you're much older than them they they uh, they see it as being creepy and some have a daddy complex. Yeah. You can't generalize about these things. Um, yeah. Everything yeah. is different. I've had women say that they, they like uh, a man, the, they like the older man look with the salt. Yeah, Sean Connery. With the gray hair, the salt yeah. and pepper hair. Yeah. And others don't like it. Others say, yeah. you know. Creepy, uh, yes. You know, uh, creepy, creepy, you know. And cradle then, robbing. You know, and then there are other women who who are repulsed by uh, body hair on a man, and then they say shave, uh, shave well, your body. Well, he should have evolved from an ape and got rid of that hair. But, there, but then again, there are other women who are turned on by the hairy <laughs> chest. The hairy yes. chest and the hairy legs. It's like a... a yes, it's a preference. I, I notice like a lot of... Um, no generalization. I noticed that a hundred percent, a hundred percent of black and Hispanic, black and Hispanic women that I've known told me they wanted me to buzz my 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 chest hair and, and legs and and but it, it may be it might be a cultural thing. I don't know, but there are others who like it. You know, I mean, well, what is it? mostly women white girl, white girls under like the arms. white girls like hairy, hairy chest, huh? French women don't shave under the arms. A 
Oh, really? That, that is a common tradition amongst the... the as I've far seen as I it. Know, as far as I know. I've seen it. It tends to be stinkier when you have an armpit hair. I mean, you, you got to really hey. keep... And they don't... Uh, Europeans tend not to shower every day. Uh, they don't. But and they do use bidets. Big deal. You, you stink to high heavens, man. But the stinky ass, no. Oh, ass stench? Well, the, the the stench of the body odor of the armpits is from is from brevi bacteria. The asshole is mm. nasty as hell, and and that's the first thing to stink. Now, any any area that is in is warm, moist, and Covered. dark. Covered. Any area. Clothes. The genitalia. The the that's anus. That's why nudism is so good. Huh? That's why nudism is so good because it uncovers the body. The only, allows it to breathe. The only thing with nu nudism and uh, nude beaches and nudist colonies. I'm not talking about that. That's public display. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, the only thing with that is this: there's nothing left to the imagination to turn somebody on. It's like you meet well, somebody yes, and you see them how they really are, a hundred percent. You see everything, everything. So what is left? To Chemistry. Eat? is left. It's, it's uh, chemistry? Yeah. It's supposing not, you're not as exciting as thinking about somebody being naked in your bed. I'm you, sorry, my friend. Supposing you have a, are in love with a woman. He puts love together Wait with a second. sexuality. And they're both clothed. When they are clothed, they are not interested in each other sexually. How do you know that? What if she's because what, I just made that statement? What if she's statement? got a tight? What if she's got a tight? I just made the statement. This is got, my example. Leave she, my example alone. She's got a tight fitted. Yeah. This is ninety percent of the day. We are in the clothes. They are not interested in each other sexually. Well, I got news for you. There's stores called. One is called Forever Twenty One that sells. Fitted, tight, attractive women's clothes for for women with bodies and young women, and when a man sees a pretty girl in a tight outfit, she has clothes on. Yes, but he no. believe me, he thinks about sex. I don't. Well, you think like a broad. No, I think like a man whose brain is in control of his dick. That's what you say. You, he's saying that. You know, because and, it's true. <laughs> uh, That's right, the whole okay. difference between mm -hmm. a an immature person and a mature person is the immature person thinks with his dick and the mature person thinks with his well, brain. That doesn't mean you're going to end up with a relationship with the woman. Well, don't complicate the issue. You know, it has nothing to do with a the relationship. They're, they're not, they're separate things. A lot of women don't realize that. Getting turned on sexually is separate, or can be separate, from a love relationship. You know what the hell does that have to do with thinking with the dick and because thinking with the, the brain? Because the hormones will fly no matter what, no matter what you say. The testosterone once it I starts said, circulating, you can't stop it. Thinking with the brain and thinking with the dick. Yeah. Two different things. True. True. Now, what does this have to do with uh, uh, sexuality? Be because most normal men will not do normal men. Most men will think about sex if the girl's hot looking. Men think about sex every eleven seconds. Right. So. Right. That doesn't mean you have to act on it. The brain well. controls that. Well, if you concentrate on other things, that usually you don't have to concentrate on dissipates. It's 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 it doesn't dissipate that fast, but it dissipates. You know, it's like, uh, and why would you not want to act upon it? Because it's not appropriate. Just like this gentleman who was banging on the beach. Well, not on that. It was not appropriate. Well, that was inappropriate because well, that was uh, public nudity. What was he thinking with? When he did it, 
He could have sex with her privately if he wanted to. No kidding. That would be the brain in charge, wouldn't but, it? But he was showing off. He but was, the dick was in charge. He was being an exhibitionist. It wasn't. It wasn't about the intercourse. It was about the fact that he knew it was against the law to have sex on a on a regular public beach. So he was thinking with his dick. He could have instead of his brain. He could have thought with his dick in private with her. It's no. not. It's not the dick. It's not the testosterone. Let's be scientific. It's not the testosterone that's the problem. It's the problem is he was being a wise ass show off and he wanted to do it in public because he's an exhibitionist and he wants to show off his his young twenty one year old girlfriend and he got arrested and he he because he wasn't thinking with his brain. Right. If he well, thought, if he thought with his brain and his dick simultaneously, he would have got, took her to his apartment or house or got a motel room. That would all take his brain. Then once he gets in the hotel room, then he can have the dick power. Dick power. Well, you could be horny in anticipation as you're driving to your. Good. Apartment. Then you know what would happen. As you're driving. Premature ejaculation. What about what about my friend uh, uh, the Iron Man who says he got many a blowjob while driving on the Garden State Parkway? A blowjob is not a relationship. Ask Bill Clinton; he will tell you. Well, it was somebody he he was. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's just an act. It's a masturbatory act, not a relationship. You think people can get off just by? by having a nice conversation, they can have an orgasm or, or ejaculate. Some you, women can go You're sadly mistaken. Through music. Bullshitsky, as my fa grandfather would say. Bullshitsky. Thank you for joining us for this week's invigorating, uncensored, hard-hitting truth. And um, I, I tried to change the name of one of my pages uh, via uh, on Google, uh, YouTube, and all of a sudden it won't let me do it. Uh. So I would like to say to all you organizations out there that probably hire very cheap, low-grade programmers to run your websites like Facebook, YouTube, Google, there is no excuse for glitches on the internet. If you hire the right people, you shouldn't be having glitches. People should not be running into and dealing with glitches. So, there you go. Chisler's Hall of Shame. What about the 21.9 million people that have just been hacked? Ooh. The IRS? Oh, yeah. They got all their social security numbers. Oh, that's not good. Addresses, names, everything. And you know these people that hack? Nine times out of ten, they're like real funny-looking, dorky, skinny, scrawny geeks that that have no masculinity at all. What about and the this is Chinese? their this is their form. This is like an extension to their manhood is being able to hack and cause trouble and create trojans and viruses and and sabotage. What about everything. the red Chinese? Well, they, do they, it too. they just want to, they have an agenda. Yes, they're they not doing it because they just want to have fun. They steal things, information, mm. what's, corporations. What's, what's to stop China from disassembling any patented famous product and copying it? And learning They've from it. They've done that. Japan did that for years. Let's take an apple. <laughs> let's take an apple. They re an apple engineer it. An iPhone or a, a tablet. Let's take an uh, the newest Samsung or Apple or Sony computer or tablet. Let's just take Apple. They could take apart that Apple tablet and they could study it and make their own tablets. That's what they have done. They don't care about who patented and it. And guess what? What? They sell it cheaper. Damn right. And they guess do. who buys it? Americans. That's correct. And why do you, that's why Walmart remains to be the big kahuna. Kahuna. Because they undersell everybody else. And people, people 
they love the bargain, but I think it's because Americans are, is, are in such dire straits financially that quite often they have no choice. But why are they in those dire straits? Because the jobs are shipped over there. Because the products yes. aren't selling over here. Because they're making them cheaper over there. Before I say bye-bye, I, I want to tell you something. Bye-bye. I received in the shipment, my uh, I, I bought a, a new air plant, otherwise known as Talancia. It's, it's related to the bromeliad family, which is related to the pineapple. Long story short, they grow in the air, they don't grow on, they don't need soil. They attach themselves to trees in tropical rainforests. Okay, now, got a new one. Um, all, most of my air plants I, I bought online by going to Google Shopping, and it usually takes me to eBay. Uh -huh. I paid with, I always look for free shipping, see. Uh -huh. I shop like a Jew, just like a Jew, uh -huh. Reverend Bill. I found, I always managed to find free shipping. Uh. Only like, like a few bucks it costs. Whereas if you go to a, a, a website that specializes in selling these plants, yeah. you pay many times more than what you pay on uh. eBay. It came in, I got a great bargain. It was beautiful, it was big. It was, it was a deluxe specimen. I, 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 I just love it when I, when I get the great deal, the great bargain. It's beautiful. And, and I just want to thank Internet Shopping, Google Shopping. Where would I be without it? So what I'm saying is um, people do what they have to do out of necessity. You know, I mean, uh, a rich person can 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 shop like a like a like a like your typical white Anglo-Saxon Protestant rich American. But they just don't. walk into a retail store and pay full retail but they price, don't. huh? But they don't. No, not anymore. They do not. How many refrigerators can the rich buy? You see? How many yachts? They don't could, do that. How many yachts could the rich buy? Yeah, but that's just the. That, that's not part of the... Oh, you got to understand something. There is the economy, and then there's the economy. That Buying a yacht is not part of the economy. Mm -mm. That's a special portion of the economy. Um, um, you know? RVs, uh, recreational vehicles, boats, limousines, Ferraris, Lamborghini. Lamborghinis, BMWs, mansions, yeah. Luxury beach houses, uh, in-ground pools, uh, uh, so on and so forth. These are not. This is not part of the general American economy. Right. This is not going to do have any effect on the general American economy. No. That's on the, why on the seventy or seventy-five percent of of the consumers, what we put into the economy. That's why the little guy is always the backbone of the economy. That's correct. And this is what Bernie Sanders wants to do. He That's wants correct. to restore Main Street and restore the rights and freedom and the, you know, the dignity of the little guy. Get the little guy back to working and, and making a decent living wage. And, uh, and, and having, you know, and, and allowing the unions to come back full force because remember that banner about how Republicans are always reverting back to the 1950s saying that the, the, the American family of the 1950s was their favorite yes, and, and that and, was and, the and time the, when the unions were the strongest and, uh, but they never and mentioned and the taxes were the highest they never mentioned how strong union, unions were that's in the correct. 1950s that's those correct. are the Eisenhower days that's correct. the progressive Republican that's good. Dwight Eisenhower. All right. We'll see you. Have a safe week. Bye-bye. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.